Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? Okay, so the other day I'd mentioned that I went over to Mark Z show. I actually was just cruising by. There was no ill will intention there. I was just listening to him, you know, talk about the three tiers, the one tiers, the white hats. I was like, oh, good Lord. Anyways, he had made a comment about something and then I responded to it. Nothing crazy. I mean, it was harmless. And then somebody said, Pimpy, is that you? I said, yes, that's me. And then he says, what are you doing here? (laughs) And you'll see it. I went to say, I'm just coming by to check out Mark. I didn't say anything and I was blocked. And I was like, what the hell is this? Blocked. (laughs) so i let everybody know about it and you guys had some interesting things to say about it so let's get into this before we get started do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button and if you're not a subscriber please do so because when you do it helps out the channel and i certainly do appreciate it if you're thinking about buying gold and silver head on over to our friends at money metals exchange the link will be down below in the description if you are a first-time buyer and you spend more than a hundred dollars Use promo code PIMPY SILVER. Yes, it has changed. P I M P Y S I L V E R. So if you're watching this video and it's an older video, make sure you check on current videos because the code is going to be changing from time to time from now on. Also, I can be found on other platforms. Everybody knows I have my own website, PIMPY's News Network. Over here, I post videos that I can't get away with over on YouTube. Also, I have a group on Facebook called Pimpy's Investment Chat. Over here, we do talk about gold, silver, cryptocurrencies, as well as foreign currency investments. Come on over here and join us. It's free to do so. You can also come follow me on Twitter, MeWe, YouTube, and Odyssey. The links for all these platforms will be down below in the description. So for whatever reason, if I get removed off of one platform, you could find me on the others. Anyway, so here is the video. I went on to talk about a few things, but I did show a screen in which I was blocked over there on Mark Z's account. Now, it wasn't that big of a deal. I just wanted to bring it up. I thought it was funny because it wasn't like I was doing anything. And, and you know, look, people already know how I feel about all the crap that he's pushing out there. Uh, I responded to something and then somebody asked if it was me and I said, of course it's me. And <laughs> So here we are, we're going to respond to your comments because a lot of you had a whole lot to say about what was going on. Egyptian Queen 5050, I love that. You know what that reminds me of? Remember Egyptian Lover back in the day? Remember that? Egyptian Lover. Egyptian Lover. Egyptian Lover, baby. (laughs) Yes, that is my time. That music. The funny thing was, I was in the Navy with that guy's cousin. And so he would get these music cassette tapes all the time from the Egyptian Lover asking for his opinion on stuff. And the funny thing was his cousin's not really into that music. I was, so he'd give me the tape. So I have in advance all this music from Egyptian Lover, which was really cool. But anyways, so Egyptian Queen says, LOL, you're so right, Pimpy. Hard to believe a lot of Mark Z's info. Thanks for keeping us grounded. You are very welcome. And thank you for chiming in. Said I love this video, Pimpy. Anyone who's been in this community for three or four or more years knows Mark Z isn't one to follow. Hopium for sure. However, I did find it odd that Guru Fleming suddenly died a few days back though. Timing is everything and that tells me a new phase has begun. His part was no longer required. How long this phase will will be remains unknown for sure, but... What I'm sure of is this is going to happen. IQD increase in value and eventually back to glory days pre-CIA interference. Yeah, pretty much. Um, as far as, you know, Nick, everybody knows that Nick is an idiot that put out him and the Judy put out a report saying that me and Kim Possible were CIA operatives that <laughs> worked in the MK. I'm not kidding you. This is that worked in the MK Ultra Division uh, for mind control. And that guy's a fraud. I've exposed him so many times. My guess is, if they're saying he's dead, most likely what has happened is he got locked up again. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, I'm pretty sure this is him, Nicholas Fleming. This is a case that was from back in 2017 or what have you. And although when you go to the judgment, it says he was supposed to check into prison um, January the 20th. 
something in there about delays or whatever anyways um, I didn't read any more into it so you know this is one of his cases and he's been busted several times for um, fraud and he's the one that is involved with that Restore the Republic and all those different web pages that he created. It's the same creator uh, saying that people were at Gitmo and being hung and <laughs> crap like that. So he's the one that created all these uh, web pages. So is that what he's doing now? He's uh, he's dead all of a sudden? No, the odds are he's probably in jail, I'm guessing. So I'll leave a link to both these pages and you guys could draw your own conclusions. I'm pretty sure it's him just because of the address that's on there, but... We'll continue over here. You can see Mark Z actually did a great job on intel on Nick Fleming. So he was snitching to the world exactly who Nick Fleming was. And if you go through here, you know, he committed fraud several times. Uh, some of the stuff that's in here is kind of freaky. So I'm not sure where he got that from. Um, so you could, you know, again, I'll leave a link for this one and you could see for yourself. And I'm not sure where Mark got all this information, but it looks pretty good. And I know it's legit because he was actually arrested close to my neighborhood by this woman right here. She was a special investigator and I'm very close to by where he was arrested. So very interesting. And I will leave a link here. So you got to be careful about some of the people that you're out there listening to. I know a lot of people like that Restored Republic and all the other websites that come with it. And you hear from Judy and Nick. That's the Nick they're talking about right there. Nice video pimpy question. Could you give an example of purchasing power of the dinar? What is the basic salary, cost of living, grocery purchases, rent, car payments using the dinar? It's hard to visualize life in the dinar. Okay. All right, so here you go. This is the cost of living for Iraq. So just, I had these converted over into US dollars. But you know, a meal on average is 481, which actually sounds pretty good. A meal for two people, mid-range restaurant. Three courses for 20 bucks, nice. McDonald's combo meal, six bucks. Domestic beers, wow, hey, hey, oh, that's a pint for two bucks. <laughs> Look at this imported 12 ounce small bottle for bottles, three bucks. Good lord. Here's the cost of food you can see milk's up there at 422, bread is 70 cents, rice for one pound is 62 cents, eggs are $1.69, you know, chicken fillets are $1.69, beef rounds. 450 apples. I mean, the, the cost of living is actually uh, some of this stuff is close to ours, but for the most part, some of these things are really super cheap. So, transportation that's how much for bus passes, gasoline's $1.90 a gallon. I did this for 2023. $1.90 a gallon. You would think that it'd be cheaper because they have oil there, but even so, that's awfully cheap. <laughs> Uh, a Volkswagen cost sixteen thousand. A Toyota Corolla cost eighteen thousand. Utilities. You can see the basic electricity in the whole nine yards. So for all those uh, in a nine hundred fifteen square foot apartment, you're looking at ninety two dollars and ninety six cents. Their internet is about thirty four dollars. Going to the movie costs them about eight thirty seven. Preschool per month is one hundred thirty five bucks. A lot of this is close to our cost, but when you get to the apartments, that's when everything goes crazy. So one bedroom in the city is $350 a month. A one bedroom outside of the city is $219. A three bedroom inside the city is $608. A three bedroom outside of the city is $404. Their average monthly net salary after taxes is $552.21. That's per month, just so you get an idea. So they don't make very much. So by the time you pay your rent and everything else, uh, most likely you don't have a lot of money left over. I hope that helps. I got put in time out on Mark Z and all I said was good morning to people. Yeah, that's that's a terrible thing for you to say. <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> it's YouTube doing that. Lots of people complain to Mark Z about it, but he says it's not him or the mods. You said nothing wrong and you are more than welcome in Mark Z's chat. No, I'm pretty sure that guy silenced me, sweetie. I appreciate it, but uh, and I know you're optimistic about it. But yeah, I mean, I'm, the fear of me commenting on something, which is kind of crazy. I don't know why anybody would think that. Considering, considering how fast that sucker goes by. I was looking at the feed. By the time you put something in there, it flew by so fast. So I don't understand why you'd have to worry about anything. <laughs> LOL, right on, Pimpy. Keep it real, brother. That's what I love about you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate the kind words. 
Hey, Pimpy, love your info videos. Keep it real. Thank you. I'm in Fresno, brother. You're not far from me. <laughs> I watch everyone to see what they say and take them all with a grain of salt. So many lies out there. It's hard to believe anything. It really is starting to piss me off. That is messed up. They blocked you if there's no li if there's no lies. Uh, you know, hey, look, everybody has their reasons. I mean, you know, uh, I, I don't exactly line up with people in, in our community, as you guys have seen. Danny says, sorry, Pimpy, I am just a troll, but I love you, brother. I have no problem, Danny. I never get rid of my trolls. People go, why don't you get rid of the trolls? Well, hey, what for? <laughs> Some of them entertain me. Mark Z doesn't want anyone to destroy his little narrative. He has been peddling over the last 15 years. He doesn't like being called out as a liar, a hopian salesman, and echoing rumors around over and over again. Well, is that true? Is it true, Cody? Because let's look in to see how accurate Cody is. So this is from 719. This is July 26, 2019. So let's see what the talk of the town was on that day. First of all, before we get in there, y'all know we have to do it. Sorry, we got to do it. Oh yeah, you know the deal. So what I'm putting up on the screen for all of you to see is there are many different variants of that special handshake that we got to use whenever we're getting our intel. And you also have to have your decoder ring. But feel free to pause this video, learn these handshakes because you're going to need them in order to get the kind of intel that we're going to be exposed to when you go over to that channel. Get where I'm coming from? <laughs> Here we go from July 2019. Let's hear what he has to say. Wow, folks from 28 countries watching us today. Well, congratulations on that one. I'm almost afraid to get excited, but I am consciously optimistic today. Mr. Cottrell will be joining us for Q&A today. In Iraq, no new rates yet on the streets. Spoke with three contacts. Hey, he's got three contacts. My contractor friend is working on new rates for employees. They expect a new rate this weekend. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? What new rates for employees? So he's trying to imply that employees have their own special rate. Okay. My paymasters. So he has a paymaster in Reno. My paymasters in Reno are saying 4A should be liquid tonight or tomorrow. They have funds positioned from earlier SKRs and they are expecting those to be released this evening. Paymasters? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, dude? Just go down to the exchange and swap out your damn dinar once the rate change happens. I'm hearing they want to start banking with the 4B group on Monday. So in that case, we should get 800 numbers over the weekend. <laughs> so you have a uh, 4A, 4Bs, you have uh, paymasters over there. You have 800 numbers. Yeah, I can understand why some people feel the way they do. Still waiting for updates from Europe and Asia. What updates are you waiting for? <laughs> My opinion is that 4A can start processing before Mr. C, but they can't have money at the street level without Mr. C. What the? F so now there's different people getting money at the street level and the 4A and the 4B. And if you're and if you're part of the good group, you could be at a tier one and a tier two, and you're gonna see dollar signs on the back screen, you know. <laughs> oh my God, the street's different though. <laughs> Oh this, is, oh, this one's even better. Look at my Redemption Center contacts are on call for this weekend and definitely working on Monday. Let me tell you something about them poor, poor Redemption Center workers. <laughs> oh, my God. They are dead. They quit, man. They can't just be sitting there all day. That's all they do. And they've been on standby now for, good Lord, 15 years. And look at this, even Ab Fleming checking in on him. Look at this, they were, buddies, they were buddies back then. Right now, the people in charge are checking to make sure that the payments to the paymaster are going through, are going through on a worldwide basis. Well now, okay, paymasters, gotcha. I have a question mark. Do you go quiet like they were pushing, huh? Many people have gotten quiet. They are pushing me too. I would take a quiet weekend. It helps. Uh, okay. <laughs> Barr reinstated the death penalty yesterday. Well, each state is responsible for their own death penalty. So Barr wouldn't do anything. So what are you saying? 
Could it be that they are opening those indictments for corruption and treason and they may need the death penalty soon? Hmm, anyone who molests and murders children need to be on that list. <laughs> so here he is pushing the whole clone thing, is that right? Hmm, mm mm mm. So it goes on and on, and, and in this particular day, he's covering all the subjects. Seriously. Mr. Contrell is on there, and what does Mark C say? Question, can Paymasters can pay masters 4A be funded before you have process? Contrell says, this is a currency swap versus the, an exchange. A currency swap, which is what they have been doing with the SKRs and Wells. Wells as in people with a lot of money. Is where you turn in your dinar and whatever and have an account funded. The bank knows they will eventually get an exchange on those who held in the account. An exchange is, according to the gold treaty, is we will exchange currency for actual gold back currency. Have you ever looked up the gold treaty? Yeah, I recommend you go check it out. <laughs> Anyways, you can see this is a kind of crap that's been going on here for a while. You can see also looks like he jumped on a just Sarah bandwagon. This is just mumble jumble. Usually I don't say anything about Mark. I think Mark's kind of cool, but yeah, you know, this is what I'm talking about right here. A member said, keep this in mind. Russell J. Fool is the Postmaster General for America. He owned the U.S. Post Office in Washington, D.C., the D.C. War Castle. Oh, God. If you ever seen the War Castle videos, you're going to see somebody in there named Sergeant Horton. Sergeant Horton is actually a friend of mine. So <laughs> this guy, Russell J. Full, is a joke. His parents try to have him committed. He's never won no court cases. I exposed him several times. So sorry about that. I couldn't help it. Once I started reading that stuff, it's kind of hard not to get carried away. <laughs> the light was from a spaceship from other sister planet. Yeah, I'm probably. He looked puzzled. I think he's always left in the dark. The last to know. Yeah, pretty much. I think <laughs> so. Howdy, Pimpy. How you doing? Cuts off after. Does it? Hopium and infomercial. Pretty much. Good call, Pimpy. The what the... Yeah, he definitely has that look. You ever seen that look on a guy's face? We're talking about in a video. The guy from my wreck has a face like he just... <laughs> it just looks like what the... You know what I mean? That's what's making me laugh about it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow, Mark is a piece of, yeah, I like Nader, but when he says he likes him, I do I do question him, <laughs> what the F? In my opinion, thanks, brother, for all you do. I appreciate the kind words. <laughs> Man. Oh, my gosh. You were placed in timeout because you're, you're telling the truth as opposed to lies. Yeah, teach his own if that's his barbecue and... You know, he wakes up every morning and it makes him feel important because people are reaching out to him, desperately looking for information, so much so that you have to fabricate crap. Has he ever, ever, ever proven to anybody about any of this stuff? Ever. Ask for receipts. Don't just take, oh, my Intel Dakota ring wearing special handshake pixie dust coming out of a unicorn wand crap. You know, don't, don't fall for that. You know... Has any of the things he said that were going to come true came true because back in two because back in 2019 he was saying they were getting ready to do the FB and the FA funding for people to stand by and get the money and the redemption people have been standing by <laughs> so it has been going on look at that said 2019 it goes back further than that but I don't want to roast the guy too much anyways you guys I just wanted to respond real quick sorry about all that I'll leave a link for all the things that I'm showing you right now down below in the description and you can go read for yourself anyways that's it for now I'm out